Welcome to the Trick Shift Garage. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear side marker light. That's going to be the one right here. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your trunk. Since we're working on the passenger side, we're going to go right behind it here. First step you're going to do is remove this fastener and this one over here. And I'll just use a flathead screwdriver. You're going to pop out the center portion and then the rest of it should come right on out. Ah, mine's broke. Get your flathead in there a little bit, and then just give it a pull. It comes right out like that. Next up, you'll remove your carpeting. You'll move the carpeting back. All right, so what you want to do is remove this little plastic connector, and then this one over here. All right, so for these two nuts, they're going to be eight millimeters. So you can use an eight millimeter socket or wrench. Either one should get them. Okay. Here's one here. Okay, here's your other eight. So, now that we got the two eight millimeter nuts out on the inside, we need to basically carefully pry this off without ruining anything. So what I like to use is kind of like a plastic interior tool for removing like door panels and such. What I like to do carefully is grab it first. Kind of lift, it should lift up a little bit, okay? And you get your your tool in there and you kind of just you know, pry against it okay come on i popped out already okay i'll show you though you'll see this tab and this plastic tab and there's another one up here um mine broke um so on the car itself there's one here one here and one here okay so you want to just have your tool and just pry on those three parts so <clears throat> now that you got the tail assembly out, which one's going to be is if you look at it, you want this one right here, right? So you're going to look and you're going to match it up. It's going to be this guy. All right. And all you got to do is just turn it um, counterclockwise like you're loosening something and it should stop and then you should pull it right out. So what I'm going to do is hold the tail light assembly like with my body and then just gently pull out the, the bulb. Okay. It should pop right out like that. All right, so for the side marker light, you're looking for bulb number 168. That's the bulb that fits into this socket that will work with this car. Okay, so, but you'll get this, and you'll basically line it up into the socket, and then just push in. You'll hear a little pop, maybe it'll snap in, and that's it. Before we put everything back, let's go ahead and test the bulb first, make sure it does work. All right, so see, now you can see that it's working, so we can go ahead and put everything back. All you have to do is line up these little tabs. And then just rotate it clockwise until it stops. It just locks itself into place. All right, that one's in. So at this point, you want to line up your tabs. Okay, you want to line your tabs up to these two holes. And then you should have one. Let's see. Should have a third one up here for you. My, like I said, mine broke, so. Um, but what I like to watch is the two metal studs. That's easy to follow, it's easy to track. So make sure you get those two in these holes and then these plastic tabs should line up. All right, so. Okay. These tabs all down here should be lined up so you can just push down like that. And you'll feel it like snap into place good to go yeah so now we'll take our eight millimeter nut and put it on one of the studs okay and grab the other one spin that on and we'll take our eight millimeter socket or wrench and just tighten it down by hand just hand tight and go ahead and put our little connectors back in and then we'll take our carpeting tuck that in there Put my broken one back in i'm gonna have to feed it in kind of weird but and then push in the center part here and that locks it in and once you have it in then push the center part and that's it okay so as you can see the side marker light bulbs are replaced it's pretty straightforward that's it for this video thanks for watching if you like our work go ahead hit that like subscribe and notification bell for more trick shift garage videos and we'll see you on the next one